Hi, my name is Katie Gridwheel. I'm a senior at the College of William & Mary, and my honors thesis focuses on the work of the poet Kuhnwolf in two poems attributed to him called Juliana and Elena. Kuhnwolf is sort of this elusive legendary figure in the field. Uh, his identity's never been fully nailed down, um, and it's still hotly debated today in the literature. Um, his poems are attributed to him only because he's left his name in the form of a runic signature in the epilogues of his pieces. Um, and Kuhnwolf could be a pseudonym, he could be a collective of writers operating under the same name. Uh, we're not really sure, but what we do know is that he was likely Mercian and probably a member of the clergy or other highly learned group. Uh, four poems are attributed to Kuhnwolf, Juliana and Elena, the focus of my project, and also Christ II and the Fates of the Apostles. Uh, all of these are religious texts, and the ones I'm writing on are called hagiographies, uh, basically narrative lives of saints. These poems date to around the 10th century and retell the lives of saints Helena and Juliana. Elena, in her poem, uh, she's the mother of Constantine, and she embarks on a journey east to recover the true cross that Jesus was crucified upon. Um, while in Jerusalem, she imprisons a man named Judas and tortures him for information about the cross's location. Uh, she finds the cross, uh, and Judas is converted to Christianity from Judaism and becomes a bishop in the church that she establishes there. And Juliana's story is pretty different. Um, she is nearly married off to a pagan man against her will by her father. Uh, she refuses and is tortured, then imprisoned. Um, while in prison, she battles a demon and wins, even getting him to confess to his sins as, she, as he tries to get her to renounce her faith. Um, and then she leaves the prison, and the man she almost marries tries to execute her. First in fire, that's unsuccessful, she's protected by God. Um, second, in a bath of lead that he also lights on fire, also unsuccessful. Um, and then she performs a sermon converting a big crowd of pagan onlookers to Christianity um, before being beheaded uh, and dying. Um, at the end of these poems, though, is where it gets interesting. Um, Kuhnwolf has this sort of self-insert moment um, where he reflects on his own sins and the fate of his soul and looks to the figures in the poems for guidance. And Juliana, he looks to Juliana, and that makes total sense. She's the uh, central figure of the poem. She's the saint that the poem's about. Um, but in Elena, he looks to Judas instead. Um, and he focuses on the uncovering of the truth by God. Um, and most existing scholarship would focus on the gendered aspects of the type of religious enclosure that's happening here. Um, for Juliana, that would be the imprisonment. Um, but for Elena, that's the well that Judas is held in. Um, and both of these situations of uh, enclosure leave the person enclosed with a greater strength in the Christian God. Um, and as Kuhnwolf identifies with these two figures, he ignores the seemingly rigid gendered boundaries set by the standards of religious enclosure, connecting himself with these saints and Christian history more broadly.